Welcome to voice print identification. When you see the red light go on, would you please state in the following order. Your destination, your nationality, and your full name. Moon, American, Floyd, Awood R. Thank you. You are cleared through voice print identification. Thank you. Quite frankly, we have had some very reliable intelligence reports that quite a serious epidemic has broken out into claims. I know there have been some conflicting views held by some of you regarding the need for complete security. Something apparently of an unknown origin. However, I accept the need for absolute secrecy in this. This is in fact what has happened. I'm really not at liberty to discuss this. We thought it might be the upper part of some buried structure, so we excavated out on all sides, but unfortunately we didn't find anything else. It hasn't been covered up by natural erosion or other forces. It seems to have been deliberately buried. The four million-year-old black monolith has remained completely inert, except for a single, very powerful radio emission. Three weeks ago, the American spacecraft Discovery One left on its half-billion-mile voyage to Jupiter. The sixth member of the Discovery crew was the HAL-9000 computer. Everything is going extremely well. One gets the sense that he is capable of emotional responses. Well, hell, I'm dead. I'm not even know. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. But, Dave, I can't put my finger on it, but I sense something strange about it. Just a moment. Just a moment. Do you know what happened? I'm sorry, Dave. I don't have enough information. I made radio contact with him yet. The radio is still dead. Hello, hell, do you read me? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? Do you read me, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. 